Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how a click event is performed on PHP. So many freshers and uh, new PHP learner uh, think that PHP have a one click event, but actually this is not true. PHP don't have a one click event. So how we can call a PHP function or a PHP code, PHP script on button click. So for that we have to use HTML and JavaScript. So how we can use this? So let's start. First of all we have to need a HTML for uh, HTML code and need a button. Button name is click. Let's see. Yes, we have button, but nothing is happening here. Okay, so we can make HTML button, and if we want to uh, process PHP code through this button, we have to JavaScript function or JavaScript code for uh, interact with the HTML button in PHP. So let's start how we can do this. Okay, so for first of all, we have to uh, we have something that is happen on a button click. So let's make a test function and alert a message this is hello and this function we have to call on click so let's see is anything is happening there yes so everything is ready now we have to interact our javascript with php how can we do that? If you are going uh, to interact direct JavaScript with the PHP, this is very difficult, guys. And uh, this will take a lot of time. So we must have to use jQuery. Okay. So first of all, we have to use jQuery online uh, library. Use jQuery. CDN. C. Okay. So we can use this code. If you don't want to use this code, and then you can use uh, CDN code for online. Okay, so this is anything that you want to uh, include in your code, you can include. Okay, so write this script and Okay guys, fine. Now we just need a function who can directly interact with PHP. So I'm going to remove this and write a function as x URL the path of your PHP file. Okay, this is your PHP file path and this is the same in same folder like uh ST docs test and click and this is ST doc test and echo you can directly give your path echo.php and if this is successively click or uh, request is directly sent to PHP so we have to return back a value for this we have to use one more function this is
it means on success or a function and value that will come in function is under uh, result variable and call result in a message box okay so let's see is our code working fine yes our code is working fine so how we can test this so let's see guys uh, the output of this PHP file is test and when we are going to alert a text then you can see here on okay so okay I'm writing here something different I am called on button click and let's see what happened and the same result is coming here I am called on button click okay so now we want to show this on your page not on uh, not on message box so pass this tip here dollar div dot text and search and now see what happened this is called on in directly on div so guys hope you understand this code let's i'm going to one once again the brief of this code so that you can understand better okay first of all we need a html code and a button in html then make a function in javascript and add jquery library and uh, then call a function test on click and write a zex function in this code and in ajax functions we have to use minimally two parameters one for uh, path and second for getting the result one for a uh, url that is hit on the php file and a success function is will is will call on uh, when successfully your hit is driven or evented on php file and the result will come on a div okay guys uh, if you still have any confusion you can uh, make me comment and uh, subscribe me on channel for more videos like this and thanks thanks for watching guys